code. System 2 rich, bank 1. This means your engine's computer sees too much fuel or not enough air on bank 1, the side of the engine with cylinder number 1. You might notice black smoke from the exhaust, poor fuel economy, rough idle or stalling, strong fuel smell, common causes and what you can do. Clogged engine air filter. Pull it out and check. If it's dirty, dusty or clogged, replace it. Vacuum leaks. Check intake hoses and vacuum lines for cracks or loose clamps. Spray carb cleaner around them while the engine idles. If RPM changes, you found a leak. Leaking fuel injector. Pull your spark plugs and look at the tips. If one is fuel soaked or black compared to the rest, that injector might be leaking. Fuel pressure too high. If you have a fuel pressure gauge, compare the reading to factory spec. On many cars, you can also use an OBD2 scanner, which you can borrow from most auto parts stores, to check fuel trims. If long-term fuel trim, LTFT, is heavily negative, like negative 20% or more, that points to excess fuel. Also check the fuel pressure regulator. Pull the vacuum hose. If it smells like raw gas, the regulator could be failing. Dirty or bad, MAF. Mass airflow sensor located right after the engine air filter. Take it out and clean with MAF cleaner spray only. With a scanner, you can check MAF readings at idle. They should roughly match engine size. For example, a 3.0 liter engine might read around 3 grams per second at idle. Bad upstream O2 sensor, bank 1. That's the O2 sensor before the catalytic converter. A scanner will show O2 sensor voltage switching between approximately 0.1 volts and approximately 0.9 volts at idle. If it's stuck high or slow to react, the sensor might be bad. Exhaust restriction. Clogged catalytic converter, muffler or pipe. A clogged cat can cause loss of power and excessive heat under the car. Sometimes you'll hear rattling when you tap the catalytic converter with a rubber mallet. Exhaust leak before O2 sensor. Listen for a ticking sound near the exhaust manifold. An OBD2 scanner might also show unstable O2 readings. Old or contaminated engine oil. Check the dipstick. If the oil is dirty or smells like fuel, change it. Wiring or connector issues. Inspect wiring at the MAF, O2 sensors and injectors. A scanner may show sudden dropouts in readings, which points to wiring faults. Bad ECU, rare. Only consider this after everything else checks out. Most of the time, it's simple stuff like a dirty MAF, clogged air filter or a vacuum leak. Start with the easy checks before replacing expensive parts. If this helped you out, hit like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.